Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I am holding this little Peterson pipe, and in this Peterson pipe, I smoked some Captain Black Cherry. I reviewed Captain Black Cherry fairly recently on the channel, and many of you expressed concern about the fact that I was using a fairly nice Peterson pipe in which to smoke the Captain Black Cherry. You were worried that there would be a ghost left behind. And in many times in the past, I have spoken about how I don't really believe in pipe ghosting, but I have to say that with a caveat. When I say that, I usually mean if I'm dealing with English blends, non-aromatic blends, vapors, Virginia blends, burly blends, things like that. I'm typically not talking about aromatic blends when I'm talking about not worrying about ghosting my pipes. But I smoked Captain Black Cherry in this pipe. I used only this pipe for the entire period during which I was reviewing Captain Black Cherry. So a lot of you were curious, was a ghost left behind? Let me take a whiff of this pipe right now. It's been weeks since I used this pipe for Captain Black Cherry. I think it's been at least three weeks since Captain Black Cherry has been in this pipe. Let's see how it smells. Yeah, it smells, <laughs> it smells almost as strongly of Captain Black Cherry as the pouch of Captain Black Cherry did when I first opened it. Wow, that smells really strongly of Captain Black Cherry. So, okay, here we go. The pipe is ghosted. It has been ghosted with Captain Black Cherry. I have a tin here of my favorite blend. This is Peterson Elizabethan mixture. What I'm going to do is load this pipe with the Peterson Elizabethan, and I'm going to smoke it and see if I can taste the Captain Black Cherry while I'm smoking the Peterson Elizabethan. That's first up. If I can still taste it, I'm going to smoke the entire bowl. Afterwards, I'm going to smell it again, see if it still smells very strongly of the Captain Black. If it does, then we're gonna go to the bigger guns. I'm using 99% isopropyl alcohol to clean this pipe. Some people like to use grain alcohol, they use bourbon or whiskey or something like that. I have some, I could use that, but I don't want to impart the flavor of whiskey to this pipe either, even though it will dissipate with time. The isopropyl is a little stronger. For me, it seems to get unwanted flavors out of pipes more easily. It cleans a little more aggressively, I would say. You have to be careful when you're using alcohol though, because if you get it on the finish on the outside of the pipe, it can take the finish off. So we're gonna try that. Then we're gonna let the pipe sit for a while and we're gonna see if it still smells very strongly of Captain Black. So let's get into this. All right, gang, the pipe is loaded with Dunhill, not Dunhill, Peterson Elizabethan mixture. I'm gonna light it up and I'm gonna see if I can still taste the Captain Black Cherry. We'll see. The answer is yes, I can still taste it. Is it ruining my experience with the Peterson Elizabethan? Not necessarily, but it's definitely something that's kind of nagging at the back of my mind. It's a flavor that I don't expect to taste while I am enjoying a bowl of Elizabethan mixture. It's in there. Um, I'm only about, you know, I've only taken a few puffs so far. I'm going to try it for a little bit longer. We'll get maybe halfway down the bowl and I will report back and let you know how it's going. Yeah, that is still very noticeable. And I'm over halfway down the bowl now, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to clean this pipe out and we're going to try the nuclear option. And that is the 99% isopropyl alcohol. So we'll be back once I've cleaned the pipe out, just normally, just using my check tool and a normal pipe cleaner like this. And then once I've done that, we will try the isopropyl alcohol. 
it's very obvious. The flavor is very obvious in the pipe. All right, gang, I have cleaned out the pipe. This does have a P-lip on the end of it, so it's hard to get a standard size pipe cleaner through there, so I have to use the smaller, I guess maybe these are considered standard and the other ones are considered the extra fluffy. But anyway, I've got it clean. I'm gonna take another whiff and see if the bowl of Elizabethan has changed things at all. Here we go. I mean, a little, I, I think that maybe if I just smoked normal pipe blends through this, Elizabethan, other blends, uh, I've got a tin of Peterson Irish Flake going right now. I think if I just did that for a couple weeks, that the flavor, the aroma would dissipate in this pipe. But we're gonna give it a little jump start. I have got my bottle of isopropyl alcohol here. This has been cooling long enough. I think I can take the stem off without too much of an issue. And I'm really gonna clean out every little bit of the stem, the shank, and the bowl with some isopropyl alcohol. Again, being careful not to get alcohol on the finish of the pipe because that could actually rub the finish off. So we have the stem here. I'm gonna get a standard pipe cleaner. I'm gonna open up the isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to get it not super, super moist. I just want a little bit of that alcohol on there. I don't wanna just completely soak the entire pipe cleaner. We're gonna go in from this direction and I might actually be able to get it out the end. No, I can't. Okay, I'm just gonna go in and out of the ugh, stem from this direction. Not really getting much residue on there. I am getting a lot of aroma from the alcohol. Now I'm gonna go with the dry end. We're gonna go in there and try to sop some of that alcohol up. And then I will go through from the other direction, from the P-lip direction, and get that through there. So this should be fairly dry now. I'm gonna put the stem aside. Now, the actual shank and everything, what I'm going to try, getting a little bit on there. So I have a little bit of alcohol on the end of this. I'm gonna swirl it around the shank like so, before getting in the bowl, giving it a little once over, getting quite a bit of residue on there now. Then I'm going to fold this over and we're gonna put it in the end of the shank. And once again, I'm gonna to try to get some of the excess moisture that I left in there. I don't wanna leave it just sopping with that alcohol. A little bit of residue. Now the bowl itself, I'm going to, I wish I had like an eyedropper or something where I could just drop the alcohol onto this, but I'm gonna bend it over and I'm gonna to try to get just a little bit on the end. Get some of the excess off and then being careful of the finish, we're gonna put it in the bowl and we're gonna work it around. Now this should get a lot of residue off it's actually probably gonna take some of the cake off as well. Okay, that's a pretty dirty pipe cleaner there. And that's after I had already cleaned it once. I'm gonna get some toilet paper. I'm gonna just shove it in the bowl. I'll use my check tool to kind of spin it around in there. Soak up all the alcohol. Still quite a bit of residue on there. Then I'm gonna take one more pipe cleaner, and we're gonna bend it over, and we're gonna shove it in. Now hopefully I have sopped up most of the moisture, and that's my alcohol cleaning. Now, obviously I'm not gonna smoke this right away because the taste of the alcohol is really gross. If you're not using grain alcohol, if you're using isopropyl alcohol like this, but let's just take a preliminary whiff and then we'll let it sit for several hours. I should probably let it sit for a couple days, but I don't have time for that. Let's see how it smells right now. Hmm, interesting. I'm definitely getting a little bit of the alcohol and I'm definitely getting a little bit, just a tinge of the Captain Black. 
but it's nowhere near as bad as it was initially. The stem, I'm not really getting anything at all. Maybe a little bit of alcohol. I'm gonna leave the stem off and I'm gonna let this dry out um, just with as much air flowing through it as possible. But I think that the results are gonna be pretty good here. All right, we'll be back once this has had a chance to dry out a bit. All right, gang, it's several hours later. I have refilled this pipe with Elizabethan. I'm gonna light it up and I'm gonna see what we've got here. All right, interesting. So I'm still getting just a touch of the alcohol. Obviously I didn't let it dry out for several days, which I probably should have and would have if I had had more time. One of the good things about isopropyl is that it does evaporate more quickly than grain alcohol, so you'll get it to dry out a little bit more quickly using that. I am not getting, well, let me take one more puff, hold on. I don't know if I was fooling myself with that initial one, we'll see. I am still getting a tiny twinge of the Captain Black Cherry. It's not a lot, it's not enough to put me off this bowl, I don't think, but there's still a little bit there. Yeah, it's a persistent ghost. And if I really wanted to clean this pipe out, I might do a salt treatment to it or put cotton balls in there, soak them with alcohol, let that suck out all the other flavors, all the other aromas that were in this pipe. I think where we're at right now though, after having cleaned it out with isopropyl alcohol, it has dissipated enough that I'm assuming that just a few more bowls with other blends that I like are going to supersede any of the aroma and the flavor left over by the Captain Black. So, what have we learned here? Yes, a gloopy aromatic blend like Captain Black Cherry can ghost your pipe, and it probably will ghost your pipe. I smoked it only in this pipe, and I did it for weeks, so this was kind of worst case scenario. If you just load a bowl of an aromatic in a pipe that you use for other blends and you only smoke one bowl of it, it's probably not gonna be as strong and as lingering as it was in this pipe, but just a fairly cursory cleaning with isopropyl alcohol and some pipe cleaners, I got rid of most of it, and I think with just a few more bowls of other blends, it's gonna be pretty much gone. So there you go. Did Captain Black Cherry ghost my Peterson pipe? Yes, it did. Was I able to get rid of that ghost? Mostly, and I'm pretty satisfied with the results. There you go, gang. Thanks so much for watching. I've been your good friend, Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later.